Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this particular video, I'm going to debug an issue which I've come across very commonly uh, when using a slicer uh, using the dates. For example, um, so I have added a slicer over here using my date column over here in the data set. As you can see here, uh, I can see the data here for all the months of 2021 all the way up to December. However, in when I go to my data set over here, I only have the data for the month of February and March. I don't have anything for January, neither I have anything uh, beyond March, right? But here when I have added the um, date column into this particular slicer here, I see all the months here, right? Uh, it gets quite annoying, uh, especially when you are presenting this dashboard to your executive team or your leadership team in the company, right? So there is a, a quick alternative uh, uh, method which you can use to sort of get rid of the months where you do not have any data, right? Let's get started. What you can do is you can simply go and create a measure and uh, you can name this measure as row count okay and then is equals to and then i'm going to say uh, count rows okay table here is going to be my sales data that's the my table name i'm going to close the bracket and press enter right uh, what you can now do is you can click on this slicer over here and take the row count that we just created put it on the visual filter over here and say and select is greater than zero and when you click on apply let's go back and check what happens all you can see is now only february and march because we don't have any data post march right so this is the way uh, where this is one of the way probably where you can fix the uh, uh, the number of months that are appearing in your slicer even though when you don't have the data I hope this video has helped you and you've learned something new. Please do consider subscribing to my channel and uh, thank you so much for watching.